Work can get so overwhelming sometimes when you have a million meetings, projects, and to-dos all over the place. As a project manager with eight years of experience working in consulting and tech, let me help you. I've developed the best way to organize everything in Notion. So let's get right into it. Notion is completely free for personal use. And no, this is not a sponsored video. Before I discovered Notion, I was using like a million apps to keep track of everything, like OneNote, Google Docs, Airtable, Trello, like all the different apps. And now with Notion, it's super easy to use and very flexible, so you can customize it to whatever your needs are. I'm gonna show you my template as a starting point and how you can customize it and what I use my template for. So let's get started. Welcome to my Get Shit Done dashboard. I'm gonna scroll top to bottom, show you the different sections that I have, and then dive into each section to show you any cool tips and how I use them. So on the left, I have quick links, general to-dos, and on the right, I have my weekly agenda. At the bottom of this page, I have all my meeting notes. So weekly agenda, this is how I schedule all my notes for every week and my to-do lists. In my to-dos, I have it broken down by day of the week and they're all collapsible. So if you finish one day, you can close it off and look at the rest of the days. The bottom, I also have a miscellaneous notes section that don't fall under any specific meeting notes, just so I can capture them somewhere and refer back to them. Now there's a really cool feature that just came out, I think last November, which is repeat default. So instead of creating this page every week by copying it and duplicating it, you can ask Notion to automatically do that for you. And this is how you do it. So you wanna go to new template and you wanna edit your template and click repeat on. Now, I would recommend doing it every Monday at 9 a.m. so you can have it uh, ready for whenever you start your day. I'm not gonna save it for this one because this template is for everyone to duplicate and if I turn it on, it's gonna create entries for every week. So don't forget to do that on your own template. On the left-hand side, I have quick links. So examples could be any nested project pages, documentation, specific initiatives that I need sub pages in Notion. I'll nest them under this quick link section. You can also put any high level information like your username if you use it often, a specific URL that you need, anything like that. Then I have general to-dos. These to-dos don't fit into any of my weekly agenda items because they're just like overarching. An example would be like submitting monthly expenses or looking into a specific program or doing some type of other activity that's not tied to a specific day or week. Down here we have meeting notes and I have set up two really cool templates for everyone to use, which is a meeting notes template and a reoccurring meeting notes template. As a project manager for the last eight years, I know a couple things about meeting notes, so I highly recommend using these two templates. So I'm gonna show you what a recurring weekly status would be. So recurring weekly notes is anything that happens ongoing. So if you meet weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, you don't want a new line for every single meeting. You wanna have them all together so you can collapse and scroll. So in this example, this is a reoccurring weekly status. You can see the first meeting, attendees, notes, next steps, the second meeting, the same thing. And you can copy these sections and paste for the next meeting. And here's a specific meeting example. So this is a unique meeting that doesn't reoccur and you can have them on separate entries. So you see, I highly recommend adding these four specific items, which is purpose, attendees, notes, and next steps. This is really key to capturing any effective meeting notes. So you understand what was talked about, who was there and any action items. And don't forget key tip to add a person and a date for your next steps. Here's another example example of manager one-on-ones in a reoccurring meeting notes template. So if you meet with your manager frequently, you can also use this. The example here, met with my manager to determine the promotion plan, and then the subsequent meeting, we reviewed project one. So feel free to use this flexible template for anything you want. And don't forget, Notion is super flexible. So if this template doesn't exactly fit your meeting notes style, you can just go directly to the template and edit it here. So just click here and click edit. I can also tag by project and use these to filter. So if I add project one, when I click on project one, these are all the different notes that come up for project one. 
and you can do it for project two, manager one-on-ones, anything else you want to add a tag for. Another key tip with your weekly agenda, these do add up over time. As you can see, this is my uh, example work dashboard where I've had entries running back multiple weeks. So this is quite lengthy. What you want to do is create a filter. So in this view, I add a filter to look at only entries in the last week so I don't have to scroll through them all. So that is my get shit done template. Don't forget, Notion is super flexible. You can add or remove any sections you don't want or sections that you really want because of your specific project needs and working style. Click in the description below for the exact link to download this template and duplicate it and add to your Notion. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned how to use Notion to organize everything at work and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or feedback about my template. If you want to learn how to negotiate your job offer, watch this video next. This video contains the exact script and what to say to negotiate your job to get a higher salary, especially for women and people of color. So I definitely recommend checking it out. Bye.